Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo. Well, go on. Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and you can find us. Guarantee you're first in line. But if you want to see all our visuals, go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss out on any of this fire content that we're giving out every single day. The only way you can see some of this <laughs> exclusive content is by signing up for a membership. How you sign up for a membership is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow the instructions, and thank you for the support. Man, listen, man. We got a guy in here, man. He don't need no introduction. He's been here a few times, man. That guy, man. Callie O'Voice in the oh, building, oh, man. Oh, What's oh. going on, man? This time he well, by himself, him. though. So at the end of the day, this is a conversation from us to you. I ain't got it, no fall pop nah. this time, huh? Ace, <laughs> why you do me like that, play busy? <laughs> man, how you doing, man? I, I know this tour thing, the comedy tour. I, I first got to jump into that because that's what brought you to town. Like, what, um, how, how did you end up putting that together? You always got your hand in something, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just following out the blueprint that the big homie left, you hear me? So wow. it's like, I'm in this film thing, so it's like, I like watch comedy specials. Like, I watch everybody comedy specials. So I'm like, I wanted to do that. So I just reached out to some home team people who do what they do the best. So we just. So this is the best of New Orleans? Yeah, this is the kings of New Orleans. These are the ones that's, that represents New Orleans. Got it. Yeah, but I, I, but but you know, at the end of the day, that's 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 subjective. That's subjective. That, Why that, you say that? That's everybody's opinion. That, that's opinionated. Yeah. That's your opinion. There's I mean, other comedians down there. But we respect the game. So shout out to all the homies at home doing what they're doing. But these who the city crown. I ain't crown them. The city oh, crowned okay. them already. Okay. Got it. Got it. They got didn't it. put their work in. They didn't show their work. The city already championing behind them. So it's like we all come together to do this. You and what's their me? names? It's the hot boys of comedy. It's Rude Jew, it's Shotty Feel Good, it's Too Real Mac That Fee, and it's Mario P, the comedian. Mm. Wow. Who's your favorite out of all of them? Out of all of them? Uh, it's hard to Got say. Got him! <laughs> it's hard to say because Shotty, he's just funny. He's just naturally funny. Mario, he he left with it. Like, he'll hit you with something that you ain't even know he'll hit you with and just have you dying laughing. And Donovan, which is Too Real Mac That Fee, he like... His stories is funny. He he okay. tells stories with his jokes, and Rude he just he just elaborate. That's just the greatest host in the world. Wow, Rude is is definitely laid back and chill. I can't wait to see it tonight to see you how think he look. laid back and chill right now. That's yeah. what he's she. <laughs> we gonna see tonight. She. So he fooling us. Tonight. Yeah, he fooling you. Yeah, when the game start, doom, 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 that doom, character doom. comes out. Oh yeah, for it's sure. gonna be hard, man. Like so, man. What what make, what gives you the drive? Like you from movies to music to connecting the dots with uh, all the different things that you be touching. Like what gives you the drive, the motivation? It's about the money. Yeah, it, it, it ain't, ain't even about, about the money. money. Cause I don't think none of the endeavors that I got in really like. Kicked yield me right a lot of money. Like okay. I might lose more money in an investment than I make, mm -hmm. but I'm furthering the culture. And I feel like if I inspire somebody who's watching, doing what I do, and that's what they do, because this ain't what I do. But if I could inspire somebody who's sitting on the couch and this is what they do, and they take it to another level, then I didn't done my job. So you're trying to show people how to be a boss, really? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna take you through the whole. I like the building stage of everything. Like the mm -hmm. beginning stages when you don't know how it's gonna turn out, that's what I like. That's one thing I noticed about a lot of bosses as, as we've been doing this, is that they don't just go into one venture, they'll have multiple ventures. And I'm always like, how you find time to be, how can you give everything your all when you're so everywhere? You, you, know, gotta you understand what, what you I mean? Do. If you love what you do and you love the people you doing it with, it just make it easy, it's every mm -hmm. day. Like coming up in the streets, you know, I'm, I'm putting my life on the line, but I'm dealing with guys all day that's doing the same thing. And it's, we transacting business, but we having fun. We we out eating, we playing. We in the mall talking, but we transacting business. So it's just like with every other business, I if it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. How much harder is doing these type of businesses or the legal type of business compared to when you in the streets? 
doing all that. What what's the difference? The difference is and patience. which one's harder? I mean, the legal side is harder because the money don't come as fast. The the risk not as as high. But imagine if you taking your hard earned four hundred one k and go invest that in a business and it don't do what it do. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Then you got to go back on the clock and. It ain't gonna come the same way it came. You took years to build this for one k. Right. Then playing with the fast money, is it's coming fast. So you spend, you tend to spend it fast, fast. Mm -hmm. and you might not care about it because in, in the back of your mind it's coming right back. Right. Wow. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like I said, you when you put the move with camera and bring him down to Cali, just like the the things you do, you boys, uh, you and the Miller boys, y'all out of these projects and did you ever see it like growing like it did and doing the things that you've seen it do or because you was younger than them so you kind of seen them early on where right. did you see them when they did you know them before the game got started with no limit or no so you came in the game watching them yeah so i'm gonna say uh no limit like 98 but before no limit it was cash money and big boy records so these the 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 guys that you are normally see, and now they in the music game and they having their weight with life in the music game. You feel me? So we was able to see Cash Money early days how it formed. You feel me? So by the time Master P come, he take it to another level. It's crazy because when you think back like that, you be thinking like, damn, you know, it seemed like No Limit came first because they pop first, right? They got to the masses first. That's right. They pop for us. We seen, I seen uh, No Limit like bam, you know. And Cash Money was still staying. It had to be local because I didn't, you know, I didn't really. I wasn't paying attention. But I do remember that that uh, that song was that, that that drag him through the river song was that them? Yeah, that was Cash. So Money. that's what that's, see, that's the that's, part. That's so crazy that the beef record made it to the world. Like, yeah, yeah, you know from it. a beef record, yeah. but. Pimp C and Bun B been coming down there on early Cash Money projects. They on early BG projects. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so New Orleans already had that connection between Texas. So between them and Rap a lot, they running back and forth, tapping the markets. You feel wow, me? And wow. like the city between Mobile Camp on the West Bank, Big Boy Records Uptown, Cash Money Records Uptown, like Uptown was an exciting place to be from. Wow, and and the thing is, I, I I know I didn't know you had bumped your head, but you had to go sit down and do some time. Yeah, like what was that all about? It's just a situation, just me and my good heart with okay. a situation. So basically, it ended up making you have to sit down. How was it being locked up? For me, being from where I'm from, first, it's like the day before I turned myself in, I ran into one of the homies that you know he had big name out the Cali. You. He was like, man, you about to go do some time, huh? I'm like, yeah, I got to go in the morning. He like, man, the walk already laid for you, you heard me? So by he saying that mean my project already has a reputation. You feel me? So you walk the walk you walk because the ones before you then laid the law down. You feel me? So all you got to do is just be a stand up, you feel me? And, and, and the, you know what I'm saying? The way is already paid for you. Then I'm already who I was myself, you feel me? So every camp that I went to, the guards is fans of me or something, you feel me? So you already had a relationship with P and them then? Yeah, I was man P relationship had just started before okay, I got jammed okay, up. Okay, so he didn't really get to just, you didn't get to talk to him during the time you was locked up. Yeah, I talked to him a few times while I was while locked, you locked up. While you locked up, you did? Yeah. How was those conversations? What did he say to encourage We just joking. Like, it ain't encouragement because I'm a jokester so fuck by the time I'm calling home people thinking I'm having more fun back there <laughs> than on the streets because I know what I'm coming home to yeah yeah you feel what I'm saying like you know my situations like I'm leaving this but I'm coming home to this you feel me yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't have that luxury wow and and what made him really like what solidified y'all relationship I mean we from the same place so he just always, because I seen y'all in the video how y'all was corresponding early on, like you had the long hair at the end though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how hard was it cutting that hair off, man? Shit, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know what to do with this shit, man. I don't know what to do with this shit. I just go to Bob and like do something. Are you going to grow it back? Nah. Why not? Because all my partners hair too long and it's like I'm a fair play when they telling me about them little bit ass dreads in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know how it was when some of the homies went dead time and they had to come back and my hair was way down there and we didn't talk about them so long. 
you feel me, that they ain't even choose to grow their hair back. They had to try to fade. And you didn't save it? Yeah. Do you have your hair? Yeah. So, you know, you can reattach it. I'm not putting fake hair in my head. I'm not doing <laughs> See, it. See, I hear somebody, it's not really fake, it's your hair. It's fake. If it's cut out my head, it's fake hair. Wow. Yeah, wow. I ain't putting no extension. That's a female thing. Wow. That's, see, that, that's the way we think. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Me telling the truth. It, uh, so, got it. Okay. So what, What? okay. But back to the thing when you and, with, with you and P, just, just, just to go back in a little bit, like what made y'all, you know, like lock in like you did? I mean, P saw me as a younger version of himself. Okay, like, okay. Man, you know, P coming back to the Cali, you, at this point, like, I'm really from the project. So as my music career took off, I never left. So I'm here. So all my childhood friends, the ladies that raised me, onks that used to, you know what I'm saying, play onka to me, they was all around. You feel me? So ain't nothing changed. So as I progressed in my music career, it's like P coming back there the same way. The hood was no limit. It was hood starting now. I was just trying to see if I could still hear some. Okay. But at the end of the day, when you when you really think about it, like you guys have a lot of different people that come from down there. Soldier Slim, like I, I even though I know you be set tripping hard, like uh what set, where was Soldier Slim from? Soldier Slim from the Magnolia. How did how did you feel about Soldier Slim and his movement? Well, my cousin used to run with Slim. So if you hear a lot of stories about Slim, they'll tell you about Reg, slugged up nigga. That's who started Slim rapping. Wow. So my cousin was already rapping. My cousin, who Slim used to be with, you feel me? So that, that's how he that that they ran together. Yeah. So that mean I know Slim from that. Slim used to cut my hair and shit. He used to cut your hair when you were yeah, young. Yeah, for sure. Wow. And how was how was it how was it just knowing him as a person? Because you hear so many stories. Slim a jokester. You feel me? Slim, oh, you like so y'all kicking it? Yeah, Slim a jokester. You feel me? But Slim, you know, he was thorough for sure, for sure. Yeah. And 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 basically, you you know. Like when you think about Slim and everything that he had going, he dealt with cash money and he, he dealt with both. Because you deal with both when you really out the streets. You feel me? This uptown, this our home. You feel what I'm saying? So a typical day uptown, you're going to hit five, six sets. Okay. And no limit or cash money artists might be off these sets. And if you known in the streets, that means everybody politic. Mm, mm. I get it. So, so you move... Cause, like I said, when when you hear about him, you always hear about just how he everybody touched everybody in a way with his lifestyle, mm -hmm. and they they really really home in the soldier slim, you know. Yeah, what I mean? but a lot of people didn't want to run into slim either. You feel me? Like you hear about the thorough people, you know, like we talk about things like it's it's normal. You feel me? But other people couldn't talk to slim. It ain't like slim was an approachable guy where anybody could just walk up and have a conversation with him. But they, I mean, like ain't that nobody now. uptown like that. You can't just walk up to somebody uptown and start talking to them. It ain't, you ain't that friendly uptown. Wow. So you hear a lot of people have interaction with people, but sometimes people just meet people in passing. Yeah. And they'll think because they, they met you in passing that, that y'all cool. had a relationship. Like, like, homie, cool, I've been around in one time. How am I judge his character? So you think a lot of these Soldier Slim stories are just for clout, or do you yeah, think? Yeah, facts. They're not really a genuine relationship. They're just saying it because he was just in a vicinity they it's might a have been bait. in. Yeah, it's a clickbait. I remember this one time I seen Slim. I mean, I was in a club when this happened, but I, I ain't see it. I mean, because you in a facility, you, you feel the energy? <laughs> like, you knew the tension that was going on? Cut it out, man. And when you hear that, how do you feel? How does it make you feel when you hear people do all that? I mean, we see it it's all the time. Character. We see it all the time. You know, people turn a camera on and and, and, and they get action. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I remember this one time in band camp. This one time in band camp, <laughs> everybody yeah, got yeah. a story. Everybody got a story. Like and and just when you when you go down there and you you think about how C Murder, you know, he locked up. And and I, I asked I asked Silk the last time he was on here like how he was doing like do you ever have any dealings with him or, or reach out to him or did nah, you Nah some of the homies talk to C okay like you know my homie Cali above he in constant conversation with C okay so and he always tell you how he doing yeah for sure because it got to be certain people who just linked in because they had relationships they was real close you but you did early work with C on music right right for sure. But after that, did you guys just y'all? Was it the just same business? Project. Cause no. he's older too, though. Nah, he ain't charged me. He kept a gangster with me. Oh, he ain't charged you nothing. Nah, he kept a gangster with me. Like I tell you, like it was a time when this rap turn took a turn. 
like that Calio was back where it needed to be and it was all you know all in support of her stuff you feel what I'm saying like the project was behind me like you know wow that's crazy man we mentioned cash money earlier and I asked Silk I said when are you gonna get me and did you probably see that? I said, when are you gonna get me Master P and you and uh, Birdman and Slim in here to do this uh, interview? And uh, he just he kind of said that would be different, but he didn't go into it too much. Like, uh, do you think something like that could ever happen? Uh, I don't know. And he said it would break the internet, but at the same time, I came back and be like, well, because I have heard somebody who sat on this uh, on this panel before say that. That was back then when they had all it of that. Do it now. wouldn't do nothing now because, you know, so much time has passed. Yeah, facts. I mean, who cares about it? All these guys that probably was beefing when they was beefing, man, them people got grandkids now. Right. Ain't nobody trying to hurt nothing. They can't so hurt So it won't nothing. solve nothing with, it, with them sitting together on the same panel talking? I mean, we're going to do. Because, you know, with all due respect, I don't think Master P really care too much about music. Like, he, he don't care about the projects, mm -hmm. at least, you know? Like, with them two being from where they from and they sit down, like, what they going to do? Now, they could get together and do some business in New Orleans and, and give some people some platforms. That'll change some. But just talking, what talking going to do? But you said he don't care too much about the music, but he's still doing his No Limit tours. He's still performing. I mean, that's him. I don't think he's investing in other people right now. Like, people. you know, he care about him and his family. He got a mm -hmm. lot going on. He been through a lot. You feel me? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, last time you came on here, you, I don't know if you remember it, but we offline said that you was going to try to get me currency on here, but it ain't happening. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out if you really, you know, I don't know what them uptown niggas be. Man, really. look. I don't know what they really be just saying and this cap or whatever. He came through uh, Dallas a couple of times. And I didn't reach out to you. I can't lie. And you got to come pull up on the turf. So I just need to come to New Orleans. Come pull up on the turf. I've been down there a few times. We coming back. We got to come back. We just haven't been back on since Canal we had Street. Him. You can't miss it. You so feel if, me? If, if I come down there, it's going down. Pull up. That's all you had to say. You I'm definitely me? coming. Pull up. Spit and up. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's going what down. That? What's, the, what's that sound that you be making? That's the bird call. It's the bird call. Who came up with that? Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim came up with that. real? Yeah. Nobody did it before he did. I mean, it's a, it's, I can't, I can't claim it's a Soldier Slim call. Because when Soldier Slim was hanging in the Cali, that was his call. Wow. Now, where he get it from, I can't speak on that. But okay. I know that's a Soldier Slim call. Okay. So he made the bird call of the first time you ever heard it. That's his bird call. That's you know, they got two call. bird calls. They I got know. The they do them two different. That's what I was oh, wondering. Yeah, yeah. They got a bird man. <laughs> yeah, that's the bird man call. And then, oh, that's the slim call. Oh, it's two different. Yeah. So what's oh. up with the bird calls down there? What 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 does that <laughs> yeah. represent? Why is it bird? I mean, we, we got to watch for the police. Oh, that's So it's really what? alerting people about the police and alerting people about unexpected visitors that's okay. what it's okay that's what i was wondering yeah. i didn't know what kind of bird is your bird called <laughs> oh, no <laughs> <laughs> yo yeah 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 but so, i love it though you uh bg man he home man he catch a lot of help from the authorities and they messing with him about the music and stuff man how is his energy and have you been able to speak to him yeah i told the g's a few times man he in good spirit though he he, he ready to get back to it like he ain't come to play no games and they trying to stop it yeah for sure he just gotta move light wow man like like you never see it it's like they know that they're affecting him in a way to where they keep him out the limelight but why you know you got to think of this here, right bg took the stand of not being a rat right you feel what i'm right, saying right he stood in their face and said i ain't no rat it's gonna be pushback for that they ain't gonna make your life easy for that but i know one thing jesus he built for that you feel me? For it. He built for it. So he gonna fight his heads up and he gonna stand on what he stand on. Wow. I, and and I seen that him and Kiki did a song together. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, who else did he have? He worked with, with Gucci. Gucci he working with everybody. He reached back to the city. Even my boy, my boy, uh, Lil Soldier Slim did something with him too. Yeah, he reached back to the city and tapped into a lot of artists. Like, he really fed the streets. Wow. 
That's crazy, man. And and the one thing I can't say every time somebody go down there and be like, GD pops in. Like he always in the midst of what's going on. <laughs> like like GDP go be in the midst of yeah, That's how I learned. Sure. Yeah, I'll be like, sure. damn, GD, what happened with why is he back home now? What happened with the midst? So I always ask him, GD like GD is really needed for the culture of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Cause before GD was doing what he's doing, there wasn't nobody else doing it. Wasn't nobody fighting for our eyes. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And he still And he knows his stuff, that. right? Right. I think he should run for like in politics or something so? for, for for New Orleans to try to really make a change. Down yeah, there. I don't I like mean, when people run for politics because you know be changing because like you know where it. his heart is really and where his mind is. So like to me, I'm like it'll be someone that I more the streets more trust to be in you know to make moves. Right. I don't know. I don't really know that politics stuff a lot. I, I be on some separate, not integrate. Like, okay. I'd rather oh, be separatist. just just build our own, and we could do more if we attack it on our own than trying to make other people see it our way. Like, mm. if we we stand on ours, they can't infiltrate us. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like what GD doing, advocating for us, and he be in the rooms advocating. But I feel like once he get, if he get in the room and he become the room, they to they'll try to tear him down. No, yeah. they'll tear him oh, down. Yeah. The okay. same people you advocated for be the same people that tear you down. Wow. So you feel like he can make more of a change being where he's at right now rather than being in the room. Right, because right? he, he just agree with he freelancing. Like yeah. He do what he choose to do. Whatever his heart push him to, he could go towards that. I you agree with that. Me? But I when you come that. align See? with something it's like if you come over here right mm -hmm. if you running with me you gotta abide by my rules and my laws right you dig mm -hmm. now if you by yourself and you, I contract you for something I could use you we could make a business deal and then you go back on your own time but if you running over here, you got to be under the law of the land. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's real. And I agree with you 100%. You get more done when you don't yeah. become, uh, you're, not, you're too busy fighting, trying to figure out how to fight the people that you're trying to make the change with. And that becomes a whole situation. Mm -hmm. Instead of like if he got into politics, right. he gets in there and he starts to fight with them. And that tug of war make you forget about the whole game. Of what's really going down, facts. You know, what I'm saying? so because trying to fight with them. Yeah, so I, I agree. I, I agree it. with that. I agree with that. 100%. I see you drinking that drink. What is that drink you drinking? Oh, this currency is jet light. Shout out to currency so. again. That's is it good? Does it taste good? Oh yes, it's grape lemonade. It's one of currency's favorite. Food. Grape lemonade. Yeah, amazing. Fifty milligram though. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot for sure. So drink one of that. You get. Yeah, that's right. for well experience. <laughs> that's for well experience. How many of those you can drink? A day? A day. I could drink two a day. Back to back? No. <laughs> I'm going to pace myself. Yeah. I'm working all day, so yeah, I hate yeah. no. But, but drinking it, one not going to have you just slouched over. It's no, gonna, if you, you experience. If you if experience, you, experience smoker, you can handle it. If you take edibles, you can handle it. If you experience it. But if you're not experienced, drink like a yeah. half. Yeah, they got the, um, the doses on the side. Okay, cool. So they'll let you know. I, That's dope. I want to go back. It, were you done with, with talking about that? Because I want to go back yeah. to the tour, the comedy tour. How do you set up and make the relationships and build the whole, you know, movement? How do you, how do you deal how how do you deal with organizing? You know, the movement contact. You know, because Silk was here and very distraught last time. He said, "Man, that's a, <laughs> this is not for me." You know, trying to set everything up and trying to get everything done. It's a process to it, right? For me. It's more off of relationships. Like I tap in with a lot of people, I have relationships, but I also learn from somebody who did it on a larger scale. So I was able to watch how they do it and just implement their process and my process. You feel me? So I might, I'm gonna come to cities that I know I know people and I'm just gonna like, yo, I need a spot out there, I, I'm doing this. And they gonna find it for me. You feel me? And like I said, everything is a networking. Down. We can eat together. Yeah, that's like good. I ain't trying to take from you. So it's mm -hmm. like they gonna find it because they gonna get a piece of the exactly. Deal. Wow, I like that. I like the way how you work together. Like you that. see Cameron on that on that. Uh, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? When he was on that uh, that that, that CNN. News, CNN. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> man, the <Well>. goat. <laughs> The that nigga, he had his ever time to go in, man. He's he drinking promoting one, his he stuff. drinking one, too. I don't know who he was headed to see because what he drinking, you know, you both to go get something. Man, every you know time you put Cameron on the stage like that, he going to cut up. Mm -hmm. You got to come at him correct. It ain't no crossing him up. He coming with it. For sure, for sure. He an uptown nigga, you feel me? 
<laughs> he said, who, who arranged this? I didn't know it was going to be this type of interview, dude. <laughs> like, facts. Like, you called me on here to ask somebody about another man with right. all the stuff I got going on. You want to exactly. talk about another man. When the last time you, re- you and him linked up or well, you talked to him? I went to camp on... I went to his anniversary concert out there in New York. He did it at um, the Apollo. Okay. So I went out there and checked him How out. How was his temperature? Yeah, yeah, it was nice. You heard Everything me? was we good? Stay communicating. Though. You heard me? We tap in. That's hard, man. I got a question. So, you know, you were talking earlier about Silk and... Um, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker and what... I don't play about Silk. And what... Um, <laughs> what's his name? Shawty... Um, Shawty feel good. What he said on... Um, what's his name? Podcast. Yeah, on, what did on, he say about Silk on that podcast? He was, was Jonesing. It? That's what they do down there. They go to talking and acting a fool about stuff. Because you were there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I just felt like, you know, uh, Silk, you know, is misunderstood when it come down the way... I I feel about him. I, it's hit and miss <laughs> with the way people feel about him. How did music. you feel about what he said? Nah, he was just saying Silk Flow. Like back then, we criticized mm-hmm. Silk Flow. You feel no, me? we didn't. Yeah, I'm talking about in the city. In, you got to understand. Orleans. Oh, in New Orleans. Because he what I'm different. saying. When yeah. I say we, I'm talking about down New there in, New Orleans, Orleans. Gotcha. Right. in New Orleans. Gotcha. Right? New Orleans is an island of itself. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. We hold our culture to heart. Like if, if you walk, in a way that you don't walk like you from us, we gonna tell you about your walk. Mm. But Silk style was different than what we was used to in New Orleans. And he said he purposely did that. Did right, he? and I watched the interview. But Silk wasn't by that. itself. Yeah. It was. It, it was mysticals was different. You gotta Mysticals was different. Mystical come from Big Boy Record, which was already a staple in New Orleans. So it's different to you, but to us in New Orleans, he. Swagging us, he's swagging okay. us. I'm not saying Silk, Silk wasn't. wasn't. I'm not saying he wasn't swagging okay. us. I'm saying the way he was rap, it was different. Mm-hmm. Long so, as Silk got that tank on his neck, nigga, <laughs> and long as that nigga is a miller, you can't count him out. I'm not counting. I Silk wouldn't give a damn what. That's Listen, the homie. So all that damn I'm trying to figure out if he rapping this or rapping that. To me, I listen to him. He was on songs early on, and I was older, so I was listening, yeah. and I ain't felt no kind of way when I listened to him, nigga. Because I'm from that. Texas, and I listened to him and Pimp them on them songs together. I done told niggas on this show this over and over again. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. And that. I, I ride with it. I never felt like it was no different. Of course, I know his cadence was different or whatever, but all they was doing, P shit was different to me, but he did have a New Orleans feel. How you got a vision of New Orleans? Like, what painted that first vision of New Orleans to y'all? Man, when I first, when I heard the music from New Orleans, to be honest with you, that was P. That was, to me, I didn't hear Cash Money first or nothing like that. who painted the vision for you of New Orleans? Like, if you ever thought of New Orleans, what painted that picture? For me, it's different. It's not really... Music. No, it's not... Really, an individual. It's more of the Mardi Gras, the the, the festivities. The, all right, and it's one the, artist that embodied all of that. What you saying in his music, and that what represents us was Juvenile. Mm. Juvenile would back that ass up and huh? No, and no, I agree. I don't song agree with that. that juvenile Bro, put out. Hell no. It was our hell lingo. no. It's no. the way we dress, the way we talk. I don't agree with that. Nobody else represents it. No, bro, I beat that one no, before I'm that. I'm saying, older than that, so no, I'm, I'm not, not going to ever go there like that. I'm That's saying bullshit. The perfect description of New Orleans. That's your opinion. Yeah, music he embodied artists. everything. That's subjective. It's juvenile. That's subjective as no, hell. It's juvenile. Bro, I listened to P and all them niggas before Juvenile. I even know Juvenile. Well, you was on you was I'm on a different you that. New Orleans then. Yeah, I was I was on Master P. I'm not, Master P is from where I'm from, so I he's bringing it. So you for me, okay, but I was not that shit you just said. It is for a nigga that thought of it that way. But for me, looking at what I seen, I seen Master P come out question. and I seen him doing his thing and that's what I was like, damn, that New Orleans hard. Man, Master P inspired your New Orleans to be where it's at. Okay, Without so Master P, I don't know, I don't know about the other shit. I don't know about that. But that's what I because then it's different because you got to think about But I love Juvie too. Don't when you from the city, just like we, we here and we know who's hot here. 
right. we know the music. But then somebody coming from out of town might not even ever heard of that person. Exactly. They know about Yellow Bees and all these other people who's, you know, big, global, whatever. Right. So it's the same thing I'm thinking with y'all. You know about Juvie there because Juvie was... Now you know about peepers. No, you know but I'm just saying, <laughs> Juvie was line. the person down there then, but P was more global. So we heard about him before we knew, you know... Of Juvenile. Of Juvenile. Right. So that's True. the reason so why y'all everybody heard Juvenile else... From how? That's that's when we heard the nigga. And guess what? What? Soldier Rag is better than Hot. That's your opinion, nigga. Soldier Rag is better than Hot. I like Hot way better than Soldier Rag. Man, I like. Do well, you, you know, know what's that? What's that song? Yeah, I heard Soldier Rag, but that for one degree. Dum, 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 dum. That shit be jammed. That nigga be jamming though. Facts. He got a lot of songs, nigga. You can't just say. That's one song better than that song. I, I, Everybody going. That's you a asking subject. me for the identity of my city. I'm but giving you the I identity of I my city. It, for, for the people who are outside looking in, it's a whole different ball game, baby. Well, they missed the. They missed. It's it. a whole different they ball game. The second line uptown Super Sunday. <laughs> see, he you know ain't hear stuff BG that. say second line. We Super heard Sunday. it, but we wasn't there. Nigga. You got to see it. You know what I mean? People saying? don't know what it is. Right. Well, they can hear it, yeah. but just experience is totally different. It's totally Facts. different. So I'm gonna never see it. From the same visual that right. you see it. Because you're in the, P he showed, in the inside of this shit. He made every young hustler think they could be something more. Mm-hmm. And so did, and, and when, when Ghetto too, Dope but, came yeah. out. Silk did too. Cause Ghetto Silk, Dope made wrote, people up their hustle. You feel me? He coming with some rules on Ghetto yeah, Dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard too. You feel me? Yeah. Man, I told P, I'm like, boy, if I would have just... Like I'm like you gave it Studied to him. Studied the game. You gave it to him. Yeah. Get yeah. dope gave you the game. They did. But Cash Money made us so infatuated with the game. We ain't want nothing else but the game. Mm-hmm. We ain't think about life outside the, process the, of game. the game. No, right. we ain't think about never quitting the game with Cash Money. Cash Money made us think we could live in this game for life, mm-hmm. and be old with gray hair still on the corner pumping and, and, and getting it on. And that wasn't true. And that ain't true. Mm-mm. But you know, Master P told us Master and P showed us the, the elevation of the game. You feel what I'm saying? He actually laid down a process with showing you like how, and he really was really early on in the South showing entrepreneurship on a whole nother level. Buying all them buildings and shit, doing stuff to reinvest his money. Facts. You seen shit that? Shit that we ain't gonna see, You right? ain't seen nobody else doing that. And we see cash money with 20 cars <laughs> on the avenue. <laughs> That's right. He was showing, <laughs> he was more, more showing you how to build up your finances. Right. And he's, he was more about being wealthy. Mm-hmm. Why you think the game ain't perceive it so much? I don't know, but he cause cause Birdman. It was out here. They made that shit nigga sound still good. Was fucking up the money. Nah, Birdman, you really, stack the money. Yeah, nigga but Bird, still out here fucking up the money. But Birdman was out here saying, "Nigga, I got this. Nigga, I got that. He nigga, flossing. I got this. You I got that. Money I got this." And right. it was like two different things going on when you really look at it. Facts. <laughs> but it, both of them was hard though. Yeah, you, when you look at the two di- different individual, this person spanning, spanning, flossing, this that, because it's an image. Right. Master P, yeah, he he looked fly, but he wasn't spending like Birdman was spending. Not on right. the same thing. Not on the same thing. He more investing. Right. Shit you, that so we can't see, so we don't even <laughs> understand. Exactly. Right. Because we so there can't was a see difference. It. Yeah. But yeah. when Baby say go, man, we going. We got the, my <laughs> beast be bailed up, man. I got this gold helicopter. My t- 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 toilet <laughs> exactly. is gold and shit. So who do you think people would follow more? Because they can oh, see they gonna, that. They're going to follow him. They're going to get the But now... The world we in now, they trying to flip. Everybody won't hear what Master. That's right. They trying to flip because we didn't went through all the heartaches of the game. Now we know this shit ain't what it cracked up to be. <laughs> now niggas won't listen when niggas learn this shit ain't what it cracked up to be. I knew that's somebody so had to ask you about me. It is. About this damn class that Master P had about Patty's mm. Pies. It's a guy came on Breakfast oh, Club. Oh, shit. It's a guy came on Breakfast Club said that shit was not, I don't know what's real now. Which one is telling the truth? P said one thing, I need to hear P say something back. It's like a rap album. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I just said P was wrong. Like I said that at first. I just said P was wrong because at the end of the day, good business or bad business, you just don't use nobody else as your business template. You I agree with saying? that. I agree. Not I, nobody black. You know when I called That's you, the I was... same thing he said. Hey, I was... You yeah, know, I called him. Me and him got on the phone. I was like, say... But I don't think he did it with malice intention. But I don't think he even... He, did, he didn't like, think yeah, of it that way. He didn't do it with malice no, intention. No, but it, he, he do it... I think he did it because he... he um, she black, he black. 
So he he recognized, or you know what I mean, rather than using somebody else who's white, he don't he can't not recognize. There's a word I'm looking for, but he does not um, relate relate to anybody else other than somebody that's a black. Like, right, that's like the him. reason why he used her. Right. I don't That's know. We'd have to hear PP. You need to uh, address that. I don't know. I don't uh, that boy on I mean, that boy on uh, Breakfast Club said that it was not true. Did you see that? I seen that. <laughs> you laughed. You said, like, "What the hell?" Yeah, facts. <laughs> because I just know sometimes shit just get misinterpreted. Like I know he didn't mean, mean to it go that way. Yeah, under mm-hmm. the bus like that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, damn, fuck. COVID did it. We still love him. <laughs> I seen him a mile. I seen you him a mile. Man? I seen him a mile away. I was like, what the hell just happened? Never, I don't know. You probably caught it, but a lot of people didn't see it. I was like, man, what he brought, what the hell they got to do with anything? We got to get these Snoop uh, Zero on that damn shelf. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think the process is something that he got to figure out. I don't know. If, have he figured it out? Do you? Man, know? I, I just think fighting, I understand fighting for equality, right? But I still feel like separate, not integrate, because we going to want to go to war with them because they don't want to let us in their shit. We so busy focusing on getting on their shit instead of building our shit. So the resolution with this separatist conversation that you're having in your mind and on our platform, you think that peace should just open up a store and basically sell, start small and I get, deal with what he got to deal with the masses. Yeah. You got to deal with it. And I understand fighting for that because without somebody fighting for that, we never get that. You feel what I'm saying? You got to go to war for the next person to get that. You feel me? He might not get it, but another minority might be able and to I go agree with that. from who wasn't as loud. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But we run to others platforms instead of building our own platforms and relationships. You feel me? And we'll be overlooking what we got to get what they got. Well, you know, I rock with him. Juggy sent me some cereal and I got my boxes, you know, and uh, we about to start displaying them in here. Facts. And we about to start eating them on the set. We might even eat a couple of bowls for for we even start. He keep me some cereal coming. Send me the cereal. Look, the <laughs> man makes sure that these business are able to be done. Like yeah. if he don't go to bat for how else it come? How else did a, a record label know they could own this shit if it wasn't for Master Oh P. man, he, he done broke so many How different. would it think from a street hustler wouldn't think they become an executive if it wasn't for Master P? No, you wouldn't you have feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like movies, basketball, the man and achieved so much shit from the block that it make any young black boy think they could get something. Bro, I don't play. I don't play about Birdman and and Slim. I don't play about Master P. I don't play about Jay Prince. I don't play about UGK. I don't play about none of this stuff Tony, down there. Come on, Tony, man! Don't leave don't, Tony out. Tony Draper. I don't play about Luke. I'm telling you, it's some stuff that be left out. Facts. They be trying to recreate and repaint and redo this picture without different stuff that these guys have done. And I'm the type of dude that I ain't trying to hear it. When I see Bun do something, nigga, Bun being Trio Burgers, nigga, that's what it is. I ain't Facts. gonna lie. When I see P do cereal, that's what it is. If, I, if Birdman and them, do, I'm on whatever they own. Facts. Because we definitely, those albums, all the stuff that happened, I know people be like, it ain't really like that no more. Nigga, it is. Meaning, it didn't get its just due then, and how could it get it now? Right. So the separatist thing you say, I agree with it because how will we ever get recognition for the stuff they're creating? We gotta appreciate us. I agree. 100%. We gotta appreciate 100%. us. So we gonna we gonna run and dance for them to appreciate us, or we gonna appreciate us? You feel what I'm saying? No, I agree. 100%. Like some fights just ain't worth fighting to lose everything for when you got something you could build on. Just think about homie going through a situation with a Billy, right? Man, you know how much. A Billy could change Wow For others And we going to walk about About something That don't even make sense wow. We going to go to walk About something That going to put these people In our business When we all got stuff We go through You feel me Ain't nobody perfect And nothing they go through You feel me But no, we going to Take that chance When we can do so much good With a Billy Wow I got a question um, Are there any um, Exceptions to snitching What Wait Exceptions to snitching. Mm-hmm. Let me give you a sin- in the streets. A civilian Anza. can't snitch. Anybody who play the street got to follow the street rules. So ain't no exception. Ain't no exception to this. snitching. But if you a civilian and you see somebody breaking in your neighbor house and you call the police, you supposed to keep your neighborhood safe. 
But if you in the streets and somebody break in your house and take your work, you're admit you ain't calling no police. If you in the streets and you got caught, you don't tell on nobody to, to free yourself. You got caught. They so, ain't get caught. Let me give you a scenario. So say you are OG and um, you're not in the streets no more. You ain't doing all of that no more. But you at home with your wife and somebody broke into your house and put a gun to your wife's head, you know, so forth, whatever. And you came downstairs and then all of a sudden, you know, you know, he ran out, blah, 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 all of that happened, and then now it's time to testify. Right. And yes, you're not in the streets no more. Is it okay for him to go on, you know, the jury on the stand and testify against that person and so forth? Nah, this 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 the new me talking, this grope me talking, okay. right? I ain't in the streets no more. After you, your wife is devastated, you, you have to live yeah, with this woman and see how it affects my house, her. Not on no street activity. Mm -hmm. This as a civilian, you just came in here trying to get something. You mm -hmm. feel me? I feel like what well, homie did, homie did that for his wife, his family, his kids to not have to go pick up and go retaliate and lose their life off of a, a fool action. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because two people are gonna lose their life if you keep it street. Right. You feel me? You gonna lose your freedom, he gonna lose his life. You feel me? Your family depend on you. So you don't let your family down. This ain't no street activities. So is that's not snitching, That snitching. ain't snitching. Because the reason why I said that, because um, I saw, you know, this is what Bumby went through with his wife. Right. Right? And they showed him just went on the stand um, and he was breaking down, t you know, in tears and everything like that. And he was talking about how it affected his wife and how she can't sometimes can't even talk how they had to move. I mean, all sorts of stuff. And you can see the guy who did it right there just looking like nonchalant about it. Right. And um, and when you read in the comments, people talk about he a snitch, he a this, he a that. He ended up doing 40. Uh, he, got, he got 40 years for that. Didn't yeah, but but I'm just saying the fact that people, people said Bun was. But a bun was a snitch for even going on stage on um, the stand and, you know. But what they expect Bun to do? Throw it all away and go retaliate? Whole court. Retaliate and throw it all away from a fool. He already action. had done. He already done. He ended up. I, shoot, he ended up shooting that guy. He ended up. He ended up, he ended up shooting. Know that, right? Yeah, but I'm just so, saying. He just I went mean, to court the other day. Yeah, he had it. to go to court, you know. But at the end of the day, man, we not no damn 21, 22 no more. Man, we a grown man with grandkids. Man, I'm not trying to. No. This ain't me selling bricks and no, somebody coming in the house No, no, get. you come in my house, broke in, my, violated. If you come in my house, I'm going to put something on you. Yeah, I just didn't agree you know with people saying? calling this man a well, snitch and do stuff that. like That's that. Like that don't make no sense. I mean, the same people that calls you He's a snitch. He's protecting his household. But they actually love the real snitches. The <laughs> ones who really signed up for it, the ones who really violates the code, still get the love. You would tell down an honorable man, but the ones who... Who really do it? They they let them slide. Yeah, you feel me? Because he protecting his household, and he, at the end of the day, all these people are not in his house with him, and seeing how it affects the person that he loves so much, and how she she's not the same person, so to say, in a way, because of that activity. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm like, it, it was just touching when I saw him. You know, had to break down and talk about the whole situation on 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 court. You know and I just show you how it ain't no rules in the game because. Whoever it is, you ain't supposed to go in the OG house. The OG didn't put it down already. Mm -hmm. He didn't stood. He got his stripes. You got to re protect the OG. You yeah. respect the OG. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pray New Orleans Like, did he continue. not know that that was that man's house? You like, knew he, who it was. You see what I mean? When you seen his face, it's like, somebody tried to call Jack the owner of the Saints. Mm. A kid jumped in a bench to jack the owner of the Saints and instantly recognized her face mm. and like, oh, I can't do that. Right. You feel me? Like, right. even though the DA got Jack, the DA and his mother got Jack called Jack. I don't think they recognized the DA because he was black. Because some people even said that when this dude go to prison, because you know how they do paperwork parties and stuff like that, so you got to show your paperwork to the you know people in there, whatever, and then when they right. see the, of what he did to who they did it to, right. that it's going to be a problem in there. Yeah, that's a fact. That's what I, I'm like, is that for real? Yeah, that's a fact. Because he an OG of... That's the OG, for And then sure. he going to prison in Texas. And you violated in Texas. In Texas. Real talk. So, I don't know. I guess that's why you got a better half, huh? 
I thought y'all was talking still, man. I had to answer that. Real talk, dude. Oh, no. Um, so, I guess, you know, when it all boils down to it, I'm going to try to figure out how I can borrow some money. Because you've been doing a lot of stuff when you come on Boss Talk all the time and you're hustling. And we trying to, we, we want to do a, get us a spot in New Orleans. So, make sure you uh, let me know either you can just get it for us. Yeah, you can pull up at the spot. You can right? go. No, no. We want you to get us a piece of land, a real estate down there. Yeah. So, when we come down there, we, we can just, we can Airbnb it out together, partners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Birdman? Because I saw something showing like there was a house down there, huge house that Birdman had owned, and I think he might still own it, but he abandoned it after um, Katrina. Katrina, Katrina. Right, yeah. and well, it's he just brought still- Stunner Island from Pat Swillen, the football player. So the football player had just newly built his house, right, and then he got traded from New Orleans. To Detroit, mm-hmm. I won't say it was Detroit. He got so why he don't to. come back and fix that house up? What, what's up with that house? Understanding business and understanding, I paid this for this house, and it gonna cost this to fix this house. But the property value in this house only is this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So business wise, it don't even make sense, sense because ain't nothing comparable around there to even lift your property value up. But he's still paying taxes on the property if he still own it. But the property is. Then went down. So mm. the property taxes you pay. Ain't that much. I eat that up before right. they did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Uh, but I, I take those property taxes over going and spend a million dollars to build something that I can't even get my million dollars back out. Right. If we understand the business, now far as the land where it's at, it's prime real estate. Mm, it the is. The house, the shell where it's at, Stunner Island, that was, that was a, a main attraction for New Orleans. So eventually you think somebody might approach him to buy that property and do something with it? I don't. It's kind of hard because the value of it. Right. So do you ever think the value might go back up eventually? And that side of New Orleans right now. Yeah. I don't what see it What side no of New Orleans is it? It's in New Orleans East. East. Okay. So um, you you mentioned No Diddy. What do you think about that whole um, <laughs> Diddy situation? When you saw the film come out of what he was doing with Cassie, what he did, and I just have a feeling there's a lot more worse film out that, that hasn't come out yet. But when you saw that, what was your first reaction to that? I can't react because I don't even know in the context of what I'm showing. I'm being shown a clip. I'm not being shown what led to the clip. Even though the actions don't justify I was just about to say it, that. It don't justify, but I can't speak on it because I don't understand it to even speak on it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because I know we all done did some shit in our lifetime that if they had cameras around it, like, we, we wouldn't want nobody to talk about that. Right. You feel me? Do you feel like he was um, being sincere when he came out and apologized? I ain't even see the apology. You I didn't? scrolled past it. You didn't even want to look at it. I nah. watched it and I posted it because I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you, it was a, it was, a, it was something somebody had coached him into doing. It was in 2016 that this happened. How do you know that somebody coached him into doing well, that apology? You, you don't just go do nothing by yourself when you're under this type of scrutiny. You got to have legal advisors and everybody else in your ear. So you ain't just jumping up saying, let me get on here and do a face to let me just say something. It don't work like that. What I mean, uh, the whole situation is that because the whole situation got legal in it then. So mm-hmm. that means every team that's in, every person that's involved in it got a team. And I agree are, with that. I agree with that. They are strategizing and moving for their team. How you to make me? his image look better, too. Right, facts. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, for both parties. Right. You dig? And the people who financing this whole situation. Because we know it's, it's somebody else on the other side that's bringing all this situation to light that's trying to take down yeah. the world. Like you, you ain't see his face or nothing like that. Right. Like, we know all... Elections is manipulated not by the two people that's running, mm-hmm. but by the people who have interest in the people who run it. Do you, you think he's me? gonna have any jail time? Do you think that's gonna happen or it ain't gonna happen? Because they ain't they ain't they ain't went and got him yet and with all these evidence that's the been DA popping said up. That it was out of the time frame to prosecute him, so they couldn't even do nothing for the, the time. Yeah, for frame. that, for that part. Right. But with all of this other stuff that's been popping up, like why well, haven't they arrested I mean, him yet? Look what happened to Trump. Trump got yes. 30, 34 counts, 30, that boy real. And, and they, he's still running for president. And they, sure. give, and they didn't start donating on a whole nother level. It's a lot of niggas say, we ain't going down. We gonna give him everything he need to be the he's president. He's leading right now in a lot of different states. You dig? So, so they ain't trying to hear that. And why we just quickly but, throw ours to the Gators? I don't man. know, but he like, nah, we, we going in with the felonies and everything. We gonna go and get him in there. We for the rock this, we for the, the rock man this. man freed all his partners. 
Everybody. Man, that man ain't care what and nobody And some of our, our, some yeah. our people. I'm going to show y'all. I fuck with y'all too. You heard me? <laughs> a lot of black folks, when I ask a lot of black people, you voting for Trump? Oh, hell yeah, I'm voting for Trump. I'm like, okay. I mean, you know. Would you vote for Trump? The homie in there, what are you doing? I mean, politics ain't never changed the America no. I live in. No. The shit that I go through and I see every day, politics ain't never changed that. So if you can help somebody get out of jail, shit, he going to let... I, really, I ain't see a lot of other presidents just pardoning everybody. I, I mean, they ain't going to free no niggas. I know. That's shit. what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't hear about it. Fuck he the only one. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm he thinking the only Trump ain't the only one that just, just did you it. You think just, Trump a free seat murder? Well, I don't him, think he put cares. Put him on the horn. Tell him free seat murder. I'm, I'm telling him he him. might. I'm Make him all this great again, see, man. Everybody going to vote for him. <laughs> He'll get the whole New Orleans vote that way. Make New Orleans great, great again. again. Yeah. Free C murder. You heard man, me? I hope we covered everything, man. How can people get a hold of you? Oh, man. Cali, your vote on everything, man. But I don't really be tripping on that social media. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, a lot of people can contact you or find I mean, ways I'm, through I'm you. I'm on social media. No, I'm talking about like opportunity. You create yeah. an opportunity out here. They might have a proposal and say, hey, let's do this over here. Let's do that over here. I'm invested in my culture. So if it's <laughs> of my culture, in my culture, we going to run into when each other. When you going to get Cam run back to New Orleans, man? Man, Cam on it is what it is right now, <laughs> man. Cam ain't worried about no rapping, You know, he went no to Navarro acting. College here in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he went to college here. Oh, word. Yeah, my son went to that college. Didn't Cameron go down there? You didn't know. Look it up. Follow, look it up. That nigga went to Navarro. Man, you see them podcasts? I see them checks y'all getting. Oh, he, he, wait he a minute. He ain't thinking about rapping or acting the checks y'all getting. That nigga coming. He still will come do the show in New Orleans. For what? He ain't thinking about rapping? <laughs> no, I'm talking about just do the podcast. podcast in New Orleans. Oh, facts. I'm the only one pull up. Yeah, ain't nobody else pulling up. <laughs> Boss Talk pull up in New Orleans. It's going to be our, what, third show down there? Come on. That's this weekend, man. I'm coming Essence down there. Weekend. I we love got the New Orleans. Show at Jet Life. People don't realize, like, I be, When is Essence weekend? That's since weekend of 4th of July weekend. Yeah, that's okay. when we supposed to be down Cash there. Cash money reunion. Yeah, that's when we supposed to be down Come there. Come on, man. So I'm telling you right now, I pulls up. I rock with New Orleans, bro. Like, like, But this will be the Texas first time New linking Orleans. in with Cali Ovar when we go down there. Yeah, we never I used to be before. with GD and different people and KL and KLC. Right. That's my boy. So I'm, I'm, I'm with him anyway. He right. He, 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 he there. Oh, that's the family. Yeah, man. that's family I mean, right behind there. Behind the scenes, man. I don't like to be seen too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't like to be seen. Uh, I know. I know who's at the P uh, uh, concert backstage. Mm -hmm. I look over there. Me and you, we standing up. We trying to enjoy ourselves. Var in the cone over there. <laughs> I ain't nobody. I'm like, what the fuck is Var doing over there? Yeah, he off to the side. Like I I'm ain't trying no to get a business deal in here. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get a business deal. Like Silk, holler at me, man. <laughs> that's my boy. He got a lot going on. Yeah, for sure. He got a for lot sure. going on. On. But listen, man, thank you for coming on the show. We love Cali Ovar. Whenever you in town, if you don't come by here, I'm cutting you off. You dig. <laughs> Take it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out. Yeah.